There's nothing more exciting than being here in Seville. You know, Seville is magical. There's great history, there's great food, and we have here on the river, and you know, the cathedrals are so enormous. It's a very special destination. We're here to take the Andalus train, and it's a luxury train that's gonna take us all over the south. I'm so excited, I can't wait. The Hotel Hesperia Sevilla is centrally located in the heart of the city and it offers lots of amenities. The rooms are very comfortable and are decorated in a minimalistic style. I'm Pera, I'm the general manager of the Hotel Hesperia Sevilla and I'm going to explain you something about us. It's an historical hotel in, in the city, in Seville city. We've got 244 rooms. Also, we, you can find our coffee bar just in, in beside of the reception. We've got uh, five meeting rooms that are prepared to, to take uh, uh, business groups wherever you want. The best thing that we have is that we are nearby the city center, that it's five minutes walking from, from the hotel, and also 10 minutes walking you've got the Ave station that brings you to cities like Madrid, Cordoba, or, or Barcelona. Inside in the hotel, We've got a metropolitan gymnasium. Then you can find two suites. That you can find one in the fifth floor and the other one in the in the top floor, in the seventh floor. We are lucky here in, in our hotel because we've got the uh, a metro station just in front, and you can go to Puerta de Jerez, that is that is the, the city center of of the town. Esperia Hotels, the company that 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 our hotels belongs, get joined with with NH Hotels that have more than 300 hotels in, in the world. Also in Spain you can find 175 hotels. You can find hotels in, in Belgium, in Holland, also in Germany, uh, beautiful hotels in, in Italy, and the Canary Islands. And we've got two hotels in, in Venezuela and other places in Caribe. One of the most beautiful things that you can find in Seville is the friendly people. I am so excited. I met a new friend on my first hour here in Seville. My God, this is so exciting. Belim, you are so exciting. You've been in America. Yes, I've You've been. experienced it. Yes, yes. I've been there for three years. How wonderful. And you loved it. Yes, I did. I did. Now, tell me about your town, Seville. Oh, Seville is one of the most beautiful cities here in Spain. And you can see that we have a river, we have also an old town, it's the biggest one in, in Europe. You and the cathedral, what's the, the name cathedral. of the cathedral? It's huge! Mm -hmm. What else can you do here? I see that you have great little cafes and places where you can have tapas and you can have beer yes. and you can have even caipirinhas from Brazil. Yes. <laughs> which yes. is You can hang out here every day. Uh, like We love going out. Uh, we meet our friends, our family. Uh, out always every and, it, day. and you know what's so wonderful is that people here are so friendly and very helpful uh -huh. and I think it's a great place for people to come and experience yes. because you know when you think of Spain it's huge but this is what the second largest city no, it's no? the third of the fourth, I think. Third of, but it's huge. Yes, it's huge. And it's, it's wonderful. Huge. You know what? I also love the river. Yes. Having this is such a great asset, you know, yes, being you able can to... You go over there and you're going to see people uh, having beer, or so just having the lunch. Every or day. biking. Or biking, yes. <laughs> yes, it's something that you can do here for... We have like uh, 60 kilometers of bike of biking? Roads. And you can go from one side of the river yes, to the other? Yes, you can cross the city with the bike. And this is the afternoon side, and the other side is the morning side. Yes, or you it's, can change them. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I think is so special? You have the jacaranda trees, and the first time I saw them was in South Africa, and you have them here, and they're blossoming everywhere. They're really beautiful. Yeah. The guys who are dressed up and walking around town. What do you call those guys? You know, they're dressed in their garb, and they have the guitar and the, and the various instruments, and they walk around and they play for different groups. No. They wear the black capes. Ah, oh, 
ok, 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 la, la tuna. La, la tuna. tuna. They, are, they are the musicians from the university. Ah. And it's an old tradition that we have here. Oh, it's a and, wonderful tradition. Yes, it's and wonderful. you see them and they can sing you and they go to sing, sing the, the girls. Mm -hmm. You ask them. For, for this. Romántico, sí, romántico. Muy romántico. <laughs> muy, muy romántico. I love it. Muy, muy, muy. <laughs> muy, 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 muy romántico. Muy you, romántico. You know, this is a place where you come and you don't come for a day or a week. You come and you stay. Yes. Because yes. there's always another rock to be turned. There's always something new to discover. Even though it's an old city, there's always something new. And that's what's so wonderful about it. That's what I love. I always love to discover new things. Bienvenido. Yes, <laughs> and, and new friends. Oh my God, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The best view of Sevilla is from either side of the river. It's a panoramic view of Sevilla. The river is also popular for regatta races. Sevilla is divided by Gualiaquivir River an active river where kayaks and river boats run free. The Golden Tower is the symbol of Sevilla. It's situated on the banks of the Guadalquivir River. The Sevilla sightseeing buses are a hop-on and hop-off experience. Tour the old and the new city from both sides of the river. Passing historic buildings, plazas, and horse-drawn carriages. You can't go to Sevilla without a walk along the narrow cobblestone streets in the old town. Ceramic inlaid works are a specialty of Sevilla. Around every corner is a discovery and wonder. The bus tour passes many sites throughout the city and let's not forget the jacaranda trees that are planted throughout the city. These narrow streets are barely enough space for cars and pedestrians. There are many historic buildings throughout the city. The Maria Luisa Park is an Ibero-American exhibition of 1929 and an event that greatly influenced the architecture of the planning of the city. It's surrounded by different national pavilions of participating countries. The Indian Archive Building witnessed an era of great colonies that Spain possessed in the new discovered land. This is the oldest bullring in Sevilla.
These are the cutest little girls dressed in flamenco dresses. Around every corner is a cafe where locals and tourists dine. Dining out is a great pastime and it's a way to socialize in Sevilla. The mushroom is the world's largest wooden sculpture. Its unique shape embellishes the city. It's one of the major new attractions of the city and it's very approachable. You know, every time I look around Seville, there's always another great discovery. I'm here at Plaza Mayor, and this is what they call the mushroom. And the mushroom is a modern sculpture in the middle of this incredible old city. It's very, very special. They also have a restaurant. It's called a gastronomical experience. You can walk along the corridors on the top for the best view of the old and new city. The cathedral sits next to the mushroom structure for a real contrast of the city. The mushroom twirls and winds around itself with the best views of the city. You know, Seville is filled with lots of treasures, lots of history. And I'm right here at Plaza Mayor, and this is what they call a modern structure, and it's called the mushrooms. You know, Seville is so romantico. I can't get enough of this city, and for a short stay, I feel that I'm really deprived because there's so much here to see, so much to discover. These narrow streets are barely enough space for cars and pedestrians.